All right, fantastic. Let's see if I can do a little adjustment. I am actually going live on both Facebook over here and Instagram over here. Oh, good. Instagram is telling me, it is telling other people, uh, followers, that I am going live. So what I'm going to be doing today, hey Johnny, see you on Instagram. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is, as I've been promoting, today is Etch-A-Sketch Day. Happy Etch-A-Sketch Day. That's 58 years ago. Uh, Etch-A-Sketch came out. Very excited. I'm going to go, hi. I'm going to go, hey <laughs> princess. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share a little uh, self-promo. I, I didn't flip it, but yeah. All right. Um, and you know what? I almost pulled my uh, Batman down. Uh, to, to show you, but I but I didn't. However, I could ask someone to help. And happy Etch a Sketch Day to you too. Uh, so I've got Facebook going on over here, and I've got Instagram going on over here. You see what I'm doing? Uh, but I've been promoting. I'm going to open up the big uh, this box from Etch a Sketch. Now, uh, Etch a Sketch is now being uh, created or, or produced by a company called Spin Master, and you may have. Uh, especially those who have kids be like spin master i've heard of that name well it would be in the closing credits <laughs> okay thanks <sighs> spin master would be in the closing credits of paw patrol because spin master also hey got somebody on facebook uh spin, i've also got instagram going on over here uh spin master is on the closing credits of Paw Patrol, and they produce other toys such as the, all the Paw Patrol toys. They also do uh, kinetic sand. They also do um, uh, Hatchimals. I couldn't, can't believe I forgot. I was uh, Hatchimals. Hey, Sin, good to see you. Um, they do Hatchimals. Now we have all of these toys. We've got kinetic sand. We've got uh, Hatchimals. Although we just have the little eggs, we don't have. Uh, the full size eggs. We have, I have a three year old daughter and I have a seven year old son for those who may not have known it. Um, and so we definitely have all these toys and I'm so excited that in fact this is a Spin Master Etch a Sketch right here. And I didn't flip everything so it's, it's written backwards, but it's Etch Artist. You know, my call at Etch Artist. I'm going to, why don't we? do what we came for people let's let's open this box i have to say though i do have some some etch-a-sketch artist friends who also receive now there there's a group that i'm a part of on facebook of uh basically the community of etch-a-sketch artists and we're not in, in competition we're more of a, a family connect very closely bonded with each other uh, and in fact that's how i met princess was through christoph brown um Princess, Princess N. Atkins, Princess Natkins, however you want to say it, uh, was through Christoph Brown was doing a live uh, video, and uh, you talked about being Princess Leia. I'm getting sidetracked now. Let's open this box. I've seen <laughs> other ones. Other people have um, opened their boxes, and both. Okay, I'll run with it. Um, <laughs> other people have. Uh, opened their boxes so I've <laughs> so I've been trying to uh, avoid any spoilers they've been posting pictures and videos and I'm like ah skip I don't want to watch it I don't want to see it I blocked a picture somebody showed all the contents in it I'm using our t this is what we call the tool it's also got this little cut this is for like um, bubble plastic you know that hard to open boxes okay so this is directly from Canada. Spin Master is a Canadian company, and so this is a, an imported package directly from Etch a Sketch from Spin Master to me. A little care package in honor of Etch a Sketch Day. And that's uh, what we start with. Happy Etch a Sketch Day. The box. Happy Edge of Sketch Day. Classic. Very classy. Open it. It's personalized. It actually says, Hi, Kevin. 
To celebrate Extra Sketch Day, we thought we'd bring you a blast from the past to remind you of the simpler times before all the gadgets and gizmos of the millennium. Etch a Sketch was the OG original tablet and light years ahead of its time. Did you know that Etch a Sketch was invented 58 years ago? Actually, I did. I did, I did know that. Yeah. Um, near a peak of the baby boom on July 12th of 1960 for $2.99. Uh, let's see here. Etch a Sketch is one of the best known toys of that era and has been recognized as national in the National Toy Hall of Fame and a century of toyless 58 years later over a hundred million units have been sold globally countless awards have been won please enjoy discovering all the best especially this throwback Thursday 60s decade box share your favorite moments with us hashtag etch a sketch day oh yeah team etch a sketch Thank you very much for that lovely note. And we have red tissue paper. Very appropriate. And of course, we are going to start with an etch a sketch. And I can never have enough etch a sketches because I'm just going to keep going and uh, keep on drawing. I like how uh, Spin Master is packaging their etch a sketches because they. Now, probably people in the store don't like it as much. Um, definitely a big deal for me. Uh, I like how they cover the knobs with plastic so you can't turn them in the store. Because something uh, Etch-A-Sketch artists would relate to this, that um, when you pick up an Etch-A-Sketch, if it's been drawn on, it could have shadows of other lines. Um, it could, you know, from people messing with it in the store. So this keeps the screen pure for those of us who want to do a masterpiece on it. So that is fantastic, a great start. And then we have the little one. This is the pocket size. Uh, pocket size, you're great. Right there. Indeed, thumbs up. Oh, and a bonus pocket size. You know, I had done, um, I was gonna share this a little bit, but, um, been doing the series with uh, Disneyland. Uh, Facebook, I also have Instagram. Instagram, I also have Facebook. So bear with me as I'm dueling. But um, I started this with this drawing of um, uh, the girl in the crocodile. Uh, only lately I found out she actually has a name. I can't remember it offhand. But um, So I'm starting a Disneyland set. But when I was doing the Haunted Mansion, a uh, Disneyland series, but when I was doing the Haunted Mansion, uh, I was thinking of maybe part of a Haunted, Haunted Mansion series would be the hallway where the pictures change from one image to the other. You have the ship that turns into a ghost ship, the knight that turns into a skeleton knight with the, the headless, you know. I thought about doing before and after pictures on this size for like a gallery showing with a uh, Haunted Mansion theme. So you have the one. In, in fact, I did a sample. Um, maybe I could find a link to it. I could share the link. In a comment but I did a sample a test run of um, the cat woman the woman that turns into the leopard um, I did a sample where I drew her <clears throat> all right now we're getting into some of the most more other throwback Thursdays here um, tang orange tang it's part of the throwback uh, throwback Thursday and uh, in 1960 Okay, tangs a lot, etch a sketch. <laughs> tangs a lot. This is great. It is. It is, in fact, a lava lamp. Uh, this might have to go on my desk at work. Um, yes, on Instagram, I did post a, uh, on Instagram. Someone made the comment they think they saw my post on Instagram. And yes, I did post my cat woman on Instagram. But this is great. I think this might actually have to go on my desk at work, perhaps next to, um, hey, look at this, it's green, I can tell. It's blue uh, liquid, but then it's a green gel inside. You can tell that. Oh, you can see that here. 
you guys can see that better. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think this is going to have to go on my desk, most likely um, next to my easel where I draw. You know, I do my drawings on my lunch break. The, that entire um, girl, the crocodile, this entire piece uh, took 18 hours and all of it was lunch breaks at work. Maybe half an hour, 45 minutes at work. Uh, just a lot of lunch breaks, a lot of, so those take months to get done. Um, and then the last thing in the box, sadly to say, is uh, an, it looks like it's the front of a newspaper. A uh, man walks on the moon, and I guess it was, is it July? It has to be at least uh, 1960. So a little flashback, men walk on the moon, astronaut lands, the New York Times. So that is the time capsule that I received. Very excited, so glad to get uh, Etch-a-Sketches. I can never have enough Etch-a-Sketches. In fact, in honor of the 58th anniversary of the Etch-a-Sketch, um, Spin Master has put Etch-a-Sketches, put uh, all Etch-a-Sketches, the classic Etch-a-Sketch. Hi, honey. That's my, my daughter just walked into the room. She's curious. Um, they put all the classic etch sketches are 58% off. I have to make a run to go get them at some point. Are you being quiet? Are you being so quiet? You want to come see what Daddy got? Yes. I was hoping she was going to come, actually, and interrupt me. Come here. Because you're so adorable. Cute is always great for the gram and for the <laughs> Facebook. Uh, this is an orange drink. I like orange. Yeah, I like orange drink is too, what called Tang. What is that? This is called a lava lamp. And what's that? Green. There's green inside, yes, and blue. And when you turn it on, you leave it on for a little while, it goes bloop, like there's slime inside that goes up and down and moves all by itself. Is that neat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you see Emily? <laughs> <laughs> she said you're so adorable indeed oh and then look what daddy got and I got this box did you know What's inside there? well I just opened it and took everything out do you know what this is called that daddy draws on do you know what this is called this toy I don't know etch a sketch do you remember that <laughs> yeah yeah okay now you remember uh, yeah it's an etch a sketch <laughs> <laughs> and it, today is Etch-a-Sketch Toy's birthday, so this says Happy Etch-a-Sketch Day. And then um, I got this. It's a new Etch-a-Sketch. Is that mine? I think Daddy's going to keep this one. I have another one you can play with. Which one? <laughs> I, have it, I have it somewhere else. And then this is what? It is. It's a little etch a sketch. That's the one I can play with. <laughs> Perhaps. Do we have little etch a sketches like this? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I'm gonna take that. Oh, look here. Huh? Here's one right here you can play with. Huh. This one's still in the box. And I can huh. save it for later. <laughs> when I um, in October, I ended up getting stuck on a jury for five weeks. And I had bought uh, several small Etch-a-Sketches. I just thought I was going to be there on day one and do um, multiple Etch-a-Sketches for Instagram uh, throughout that day. And so, uh, what are you going to draw? Um, a square. A square? Okay. Uh, so, I thought... Oh, I'll answer your question in just a second. Um, oh, so we did... Um, I thought I was just going to have the one day, so I bought Etch a Sketch so I, I could do a drawing. What well, has to get plugged in and turned on? And so. Let's see what's inside there. I had these Etch a Sketches, but then get on this jury for five weeks. So, what I did was on all of our lunches and breaks, I would do two or three uh -huh. five minute sketches and post them uh -huh. on Facebook and Instagram just for the sake of keeping uh -huh. up my drawing. And it's also then uh, was great with practicing. Um, it was great with practicing uh, quick sketches because that's not my thing as much. Um, there are other etch sketches where that's their that's their niche is is do knocking out um, 
etch a sketch is really fast. Whereas, like I said, you're gonna go and go back to mommy. Okay. And uh, so, like I say, you know, like this one was. Can, is there another one? Ah, oh my god. Yes, um, there it is. Okay. Not in the box. Go find another one. Okay. Uh, like I said, this one took 18 hours because most of my drawings, I, I painstakingly slow drawing and uh, and painstakingly draw and take my time. Um, but no, it's good practice for doing for doing quick sketches. And in that time, I um, actually got a lot of followers because I did a lot of different topics. I did uh, Sally and Jack and a whole nightmare. Um, Oh, fantastic. Uh, Nightmare and Star Wars. Great story. I drew a picture of an X-Wing fighter and the Death Star, and I got a like from it, or someone started following me, and I, I like to see who follows me and take a look at their, at their, um, you know, their bios and, and their pictures. And someone started following me, and it was the original designer of the Death Star and the X-Wing fighters and the spaceships from original episode four. And that was just awesome. I'm like, I think I'll draw some more Star Wars now. Uh, <laughs> so it tagged him in it and good times, good times. Uh, show, um, someone had asked if I was still doing a show. There was a show I did in the gallery in LA that uh, it did finish. It finished, it was just through January. Uh, there was another show in April I chose, to, and it was, uh, he's getting a new gallery. With my current project, though, um, I do want to give a shout-out um, right here. I do want to give a shout-out, right? It was, oh, it was awesome. Um, I do want to give a shout-out to my good friend, Renee Harper. Uh, Renee is, uh, her, uh, is Sweet Midnight. It's at underscore Sweet Midnight underscore who gave me this Etch-A-Sketch. It's an old Etch-A-Sketch, and I want to show you the difference. Um, see these knobs are flat? And the new knobs, see the flat knobs, these new knobs are thicker for, for I imagine, better grip. And so it was an old Etch-A-Sketch. This one has no logo of who made it here. Um, found out she had got it in a in an auction for a storage unit and it had this old etch-a-sketch in it and she just messages me one day and says hey Kevin she's in Arizona she said hey Kevin you want this etch-a-sketch I'm like well yeah and so as a thank you I wanted to draw something on it it's old it's beat up it's scratched I mean if you're looking at the etch-a-sketch you can hardly read the gold has been rubbed off of this you know like that um, I wanted to do something that would be just classic and old and so Renee, my friend who gave this to me, Renee um, both was proposed to and married in front of the Haunted Mansion and so I said I think I want to do something Haunted Mansion and after chatting with her for a little bit of different ideas of what I could do on it came up with a stretch painting. This one was her favorite drawing of the paintings and then uh, picked it up from there. I got other old ones, I had an old one. Um, jury Duty, another great story uh, that goes along with the same Disneyland project that I'm working on. Uh, they, um, doing Jury Duty, I was picked in the first 12, day one, and they were interviewing me, and one of the questions they asked was, what do you do? I said, I do art. They said, what kind? I said, etch a sketch, and ha ha ha. Well, a guy on break says to me, hey, yeah, he was a potential juror in the, in the crowd. He wasn't picked. And he says, hey, you know what? I've got this old Etch-A-Sketch in the garage. Um, oh, I've also got this tin my mom gave me from the 100th anniversary, and it's gold Etch-A-Sketch. And the next day, he brings them and gives them to me. Here, in a bag. Here you go. So the old one, I drew another stretch painting. I have all four stretch paintings from the Honor Mansion done. Um, my website is at etchartist, everything is, uh, no, my website's etchartist.com, at etchartist is where I do all my stuff, but you can see all my paintings there. In fact, I now have a link to what I'm calling the, the Disneyland Project. Um, branching from this drawing and this gift um, from underscore sweet midnight underscore, uh, 
from her generosity of giving me this one, I'm now going to do a series of Disneyland themed drawings. And my goal is once I have enough of a collection, I want to do a gallery show of the Disneyland project, all different uh, landmarks of the California Disneyland Resort. Um, I'm very excited. I did, like I said, I did all four of these stretch paintings, including then the wallpaper, uh, just a little closer view for both of you. I'll be right there. So you got the wallpaper design I added to fill in the sides, um, all of them with that wood frame and the shadows. And, <laughs> okay. Sorry. Oh, I sure will. Okay, um, I'm sorry, I'm just reading some comments, making sure I'm keeping up with any questions. Uh, definitely, okay, so, mentioned the guy who gave me the, the old etches sketch I used for a painting, and then he gave me this tin with the gold etches sketch, and that is my current one. Uh, if you haven't been following me, um, my current drawing is from the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. It's a treasure room with a pile of treasure and a skeleton at the top holding his treasure. Uh, is on a gold etch a sketch and so far it is going to be my most epic to date uh, Again, this one took 18 hours. I do these in three phases where I do the line drawing I do shading I shake it a little bit and then I redraw it for tone You can see how like on her dress. There's two tones of shading on her dress There are two tones of shading and that's from shading it shaking a little bit and then retracing and so right now on the uh, Pirates ride I've done the shading. Uh, now I'm shaking it and retracing it, but I'm at 18 hours, which is what took me to finish this one. Um, all the princess castles, like of the different lands, princess. Hold on, let me catch up to some comments here. She wants Jungle Cruise and Sleeping Beauty Castle. I've done Sleeping Beauty's Castle, but I am gonna redo it. I did Sleeping Beauty's Castle on a Mickey Mouse Etch-A-Sketch. Um, Jay, uh, honey, could you get that for me? What? Could you get the Mickey Mouse etch a sketch for me? Um, okay. <laughs> or if you can. And the, let's get Batman too. And the Batman. Okay. Because I want to show, I, Evan, I don't know if you're still there. I know you were here earlier, Evan. Um, because Evan actually found, Evan Greenberg is a friend of mine who found the Batman etch a sketch at, good to see you. Um, at Six Flags Magic Mountain, what was and the second one? Batman and Mickey Mouse. Okay, let's do one at a time. Okay, she's very nervous. Mickey Mouse is less preserved as Batman is. I hate carrying these. Just face up, and they'll be fine. Oh. Okay. So here, this etch a sketch was released, uh, I think, for two years, from 1990 to 1992, and this one I did. Um, it was one of my earlier drawings. I'm going to show it to Facebook first. Um, I didn't do all of the Avengers. I have done the Fantastic Four. First, let's go over here. Sorry. Um, that's so funny. It's reflecting its own image. In the, sorry, I got mesmerized by that. So, here's the Mickey Mouse uh, I did. Here's the Sleeping Beauty's Castle that I did. Um, again, this is posted. Sleeping Beauty's Castle... Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought you were saying. All the different castles. That would be a great project. I agree. I like that idea. Um, oh, so again, this is one. Oh, I just had a whole bunch of sand dumped on me. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, was released for a couple of years, and then um, hold on. Terror from California Adventure, the, the Tower of Terror, like before they transformed it. I would agree with that. I'm getting some suggestions on uh, Instagram. Sorry, Facebook. I have Instagram and Facebook going at the same time, so I'm trying to catch, keep in track, keep track of all your comments. Um, but this is, again was one of my earlier drawings. It's I know I could do it better, so I'm going to do it again for this show. My dream would be the actual gallery show someday, being uh, where you walk into the gallery and the first thing you see is the flower Mickey Mouse display with the train station above it and that's what you see and then you keep going you have the partner statue and then you have Sleeping Beauty's castle but then as you look around you have the different lands and then you have 
so I'm reading uh, the, the seven seven dwarfs cottage you have the, the Aaron's Prince Eric's castle Rapunzel you know another idea I had um, with yeah right princess uh, Mickey Mouse floral she was very like that also was suggesting like Prince Eric's castle another idea is like storybook land doing or or some of the dark rides I thought about what I'll do is like a collage of the different parts of the ride in the drawing. Or maybe I do a series where it's one main one and then maybe some small ones around it. I don't know. I definitely want to use this project, the Disneyland project. So again, EdgeArtist.com, I've got a link for the Disneyland project um, where I've got a map of Disneyland and some of the things that I've had. Um, so again, I want to redo the, the Sleeping Beauty's Castle. I'm currently working on... Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. It's going to take me a, a little while because there's going to be a lot of detail. I'm doing all the... Right now, if you have been watching or if you haven't, uh, definitely check it out. I've got it both on, on Facebook. I'm sharing Facebook and Instagram at the same time. But um, if you've seen me working on this project with the shadowing of... Like there's off to the side, there's a vase, a large vase. And I've done the shadow, shading on it and it's this huge vase. Well, what I haven't done is all the figure carvings that I'm gonna put on it because I didn't want to have to shake it and retrace it. So now that I've done the shaking, I'm going back, I'm doing all of the details. In fact, on Tuesday I did post a video showing um, some of the detail I'm going to be doing. A very close up of one of the, the ha tall axe heads uh, with carvings on it. Um, so this is the Disneyland project, you know, and I'm not pushing it right now because right now I just have the four stretch paintings from the Haunted Mansion. I want to really just build this up over time and then once I have a show to push. Um, in the meantime, as I'm finishing projects, I am offering prints of these where they are like an eight by 10, uh, nice quality print that I'm signing and I'm numbering them. I'm only gonna sell 100 of each print um, at the eight by, eight by 10. So I've got a few of the Lady in the Crocodile I've sold it and such. And really, if there's anything in the gallery uh, that you would want to print up, let me know. Um, this, here we go, is Batman. This is the Batman Edge of Sketch. Um, drawing, again, as I'm working on this one, let me see if I can get it. That's pretty, pretty good. A little out of focus there. Uh, I forget the artist. Lee was the artist, I think. Um, oh, definitely. Oh, Believe me, Princess. She said, let me know when the, the Disneyland show comes. Believe me, I will be pushing that all over the place once I have that uh, show set up. I'm very excited. And definitely anybody, Sean, uh, definitely anybody who um, has been following me, I've gotten a lot of. Oh, excited too. It's not actually in. I'll look into that. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, um, once I, uh, <laughs> Pinocchio whale or shark. Oh, I've already picked my next drawing, even though I'm, I'm still have a while to go on. Uh, even though I still, mm, 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 mm. excellent. Um, Where was I? Talking about the show. Oh, yes. Even though I'm still working on the Pirates, I do know the one I'm going to be doing next. Something I'm wanting to do is... Um, something I'm really wanting to do is to expand my horizons with the definite... <laughs> with the definite... Um, with the... Thinking outside the Etch-a-Sketch box, I did a, um, the Doctor Who piece recently. It was it was uh, bigger than this screen, but not much bigger of Doctor Who. It was actually a cyborg head that flips up, and it's an Etch-a-Sketch, random. But I saw someone else had it in their collection, so I looked it up and found it. Um, but what I did with that one is I drew it in the negative because then I inserted a light that you could turn on, and it lights it from the inside, and so. 
<laughs> and so <clears throat> there we go. Take off some of this tape. I don't want it to melt to it. Um, there we go. Very nice. Thanks, Johnny. No, Facebook couldn't see it. There we go. Doctor Who. Thank you. So, insert a light. I, my next drawing. I, I don't want to. Uh, right now, I'm doing black light. That's a good suggestion over here. Facebook suggested a black light um, but the next one I'm thinking of lighting from inside um, you know what if people are watching this live you deserve to and you're this invested into this video I'll tell you I'm gonna be doing the face of small world next I'm gonna be doing um, the face of small world with the, the clock and all the all the to do's I'm considering um, doing hey it is Love it. I've got a couple of etch -a sketch artists supporting me here. I appreciate it, you guys. Um, I'm considering doing maybe even multiple etch -a sketches, but what I'm wanting to do is someone gave me the idea of maybe having. Um, let me let me stop for a moment and explain. When I preserve these, that, thanks, John. Uh, when I preserve these, I cut it open. Nowadays, now this one. I drilled holes in the back and, and shook out as much of the sand as I could. Um, it's not foolproof because there's still going to be some sand in there. So what I do now is I cut it open. I cut it open, uh, cut the box open, and I, I, I set the drawing aside. And then I wash it out clean and then uh, glue it all back together. But before I glue it back together, I put black poster or uh, black, yeah, poster board inside. So that way the lines that I've drawn really pop out. Otherwise, you can see right through it. Uh, I don't know if you can. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to show a good example. Um, otherwise, you can see right through it. There we go. And someone just asked what kind of knife I used to open it over in that Instagram. Instagram, I got Facebook over here. Facebook, I've got Instagram over here, so I'm dueling and making sure I catch uh, the comments. Um, you know what? I also I was going to. I figured someone might ask me about my preservation process. If you want to see it, uh, I do have a video, a, a sped up time lapse video on my YouTube channel of my doing the preservation process. Um, it's probably easiest just to go to etchasketch. No, etchartist.com. That's my website. Etch. E T C H like etch a sketch an artist, like what I do. So etchartist.com is my website, and there's a series of links there, and one of them is to my YouTube channel. And I do have a time lapse. I think it's two minutes of um, my cutting it open. But to answer the specific question is, um, I'm using again. I learned this in my a group of etch a sketch artists share different ideas of how they preserve, and I just combine different people's techniques. And what I'm using is what call, what's called an exacto saw. An exacto saw has a, a like a wood handle and it's a blade about this long. Kind of looks like an old timey shaving razor, but it's got saw teeth on the edge of it. And so, what I'll do is I'll take that and I'll start in a corner, and it allows me to do a clean cut down the side and follow this because this red shell is glued onto the black box that has the glass and the powder inside. Um, so, someone made the, I'm now I'm coming right back full circle to where I, I left off with the Disneyland project. Doing the, um, <laughs> it does, someone mentioned they are not very good at cutting with that thing. Uh, but yeah, that's why I use the corners and then use that corner as a guide on either side. Whether I'm, and then I work myself from the, from the corners into the into follow through, so so start at the corner, Jim, and uh, just follow it. You'll feel, and then I get the feeling when I look at the blade. I can tell how deep it is to know, and then as I'm going all the way around, oh these knobs, so you know these knobs just pop right off. They're not even glued on. Take a spoon, I pop them off, I cut off the red frame, 
Then I used a Dremel blade that I bought years ago for this process. I gave up on the Dremel blade because when I started cutting the red frame, the friction bubbled up the plastic. It started melting. And so I stopped. I'm like, great. I'm not going to use a Dremel blade because it's of no use. So, and I didn't know what it looked like inside. And then again, someone introduced the idea. So I would just drill holes in the back, shake out as much of the sand, but I could never ship it. It wasn't foolproof, but now this new way, opening it up. Oh, so then I used the Dremel because it doesn't have to look pretty underneath the red frame. So I'll cut it with the Dremel blade at that point, separate it, separate the... Um, someone just asked if I ever did a Haunted Mansion etch. etch. The mansion itself, no. But I was just sharing how we got um, this series of the four <laughs> of the four um, stretch paintings. I just finished that series. Very excited about that. Uh, very happy with it. It's very interesting. This is my favorite, actually, of the four, um, based on the content. Technique-wise, the last one I did was the guy when his boxers standing on the TNT on the dynamite. That one is my favorite because of how the wood tone turned out on the on the barrel, doing that shadow, what I call the shadow effect, where I'm drawing it, shaping. <laughs> yes, that was Chewbacca. Chew I didn't turn the sound off on my phone, and that's my Facebook notification is Chewbacca. So um, the, the, the Jawas Houdini is Houdini is my general notification. But yes, that was Chewbacca. Um, Chewie. Uh, so anyway, so. The black poster board is what I'm coming back to because I just announced that I'm doing um, the next one. I'm working on Pirates of the Caribbean, for those who just joined the show. Uh, working currently on a gold etch sketch. I'm doing scene from Pirates of the Caribbean ride with a pile of gold and a skeleton on it. Very detailed. Very. It's, uh, again, kind of challenging myself with each drawing. Um, so, for It's a Small World is my next one. And for It's a Small World, I'm doing the face on the outside. And then what I'm going to do is I want to, I'm considering, I need to, I haven't thought this all through, so I'm just throwing at you what I've brainstormed so far in my own head. Um, what I want to do is, if someone recommended, well, do you always have to use the black poster board? Could you not use color inside that would show through? And I'm like, well, yes, the lines, it does make a great difference with the black to show the lines. And so I'm thinking, well, yeah, I guess you could put a different color inside, but then you'd have to light it up. Well, why can't I insert lighting while it's cut open, right? So that's what I did with this, like I said, this Doctor Who one was kind of an experiment with this technique because I did um, the drawing itself. If you haven't seen it, uh, I do have a post both Instagram. Actually, it's on my website, uh, etchartist.com. Go to my website. You can go to the gallery. It's in there. Um, it shows the, the cyb cyborg head closed and flipped open. It, it's a drawing of one of the weeping angels with the hands in front of the face. And I drew it in the negative. And instead of a black poster board backdrop, I put uh, sandpaper, fine, fine sandpaper that I painted white. So that way, uh, when it lights, when it's lit up, it has a grain tone, like a stone tone to it. It's hard to tell. It's hard to notice, really. And then I, I found on Amazon, because you can find everything on, everything on Amazon, I found on Amazon these little party lights, that little LED lights, which do not produce heat. So that way, um, it won't melt it. But I drilled a hole um, in, in the corner, like right here, straight down, right here, in the Etch-A-Sketch. It's a little bigger than this one, the one I did. So I drilled a hole right here, melted it, melted it all the way through, big enough to have the this light go inside and all you have to do is turn it and then it lights it from the inside so that way it shows the white of the statue of the angel so that's the technique i want to use i'm hoping i don't know if anyone here would have the answer but i definitely will be posting once it's time to look into it seriously what i'm wanting to find is i know they have strips of flat led lights that I could put on the inside, uh, around the frame, perhaps. Um, something else I'm thinking about doing is uh, the, having the picture of, of the, um, the front of Small World. Then you can flip a switch and maybe have, 
you know different colors so it shows different colors in the in the background but then also maybe pinpoint LED lights around it like it's lit up with the, 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 the spotlight I don't know but lighting and color fun because the drawing itself is going to be pretty simple in my standards you know I you know you could say I can't even you know I can only do stairs I can't even write my name and stairs are a challenge of itself um, which is why Etch a Sketch created the freestyle for those who can't figure out the two knobs. You can just draw on it and uh, do that magic. Um, sorry, someone else is commenting. That, yeah, there are some great lighting options. Someone's been another artist is commenting over here. Uh, the bearded boarder, very talented guy and a uh, great bearded man uh, indeed. Um, but was saying there's definitely some great lighting techniques, and he's he's looking into it and. Um, yeah, just thinking outside the box. And with some other other rides, example, um, Princess Natkins, Princess N. Atkins, uh, made the comment on Instagram. She said that uh, she would like to see the Jungle Cruise. She would like to see the Jungle Cruise. And so that's when I could picture doing a, a drawing with a boat and some of the different scenes around it, but then maybe having clay sculpture of animals. A snake on a branch over here, interacting with just the screen itself here. So they go, hey, look, here's an etch a sketch. I just happen to have one. But yeah, let's say you know there's a, uh, a sculpture of a snake here. Uh, you know, an elephant's peeking around the corner. Something like that. Just want to really start getting getting creative. <laughs> well, see, Halloween Horror Nights. Someone said Halloween Horror Night icons over here. Good friend of mine from Universal Florida. Thanks, Sean. Uh, shout out. Um, right? Skippers would love it, for sure. Um, then, uh, oh, Halloween Horror Nights. That's Universal. Now we're delving, delving into a whole other uh, theme park, aren't we? Um, one of my very first drawings ever was of the Universal Globe. And logo like the sign because at the time I worked at Universal when I discovered it discovered this talent um, very excited about this I'm gonna announce this now too very excited about this it was 1995 this is my origin story uh, origin of Kevin E Davis etch a sketch artist I started uh, I discovered my um, talent thank you I discovered my talent in 1995 when the first Toy Story came out. My parents pulled out the old Edge sketch, which was very much like this one. Um, Ani, are you able to get the castle? Are you still there? I don't know if she's there. Battle, Battlestar Galactica. One thing at a time. Um, but it was a, it was one of these old etch sketches with you know they pulled out our old etch sketch we used to play with and my nieces and nephews were visiting and I drew a picture of Woody on it and I looked at it and I looked at the horizon I drew a horizon line stopped drew a cactus continued that horizon line and I thought oh, you know what I could I think I could do this and then just uh, just over years the first five six years I would do a drawing take a picture of it shake it and then. <laughs> it's so true. She said, so many fandoms, so little time. Um, someone has asked if I've done Star Wars, and I did. I have Master Yoda, which ended up being on display at a toy store and getting ruined because I hadn't perfected it. Another thing I do when I take this apart is I take out the drawing mechanism. It's a, a, cup, it's a stylus with a couple of sticks on a pulley system that moves around like this as you're turning the knobs. Um, I take that out now. So this is completely... Anybody can turn these knobs and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, you can shake it, it doesn't do anything because I've, I've cleaned it out and it's foolproof. Uh, some other friends of mine did a commission piece. Friends of mine from high school, live in Wisconsin, wanted a piece and they said, hey, uh, we want to do this logo. And I said, okay, well, it's time to, to perfect it. Um, I went off a different track from what I was, the story I was telling. I was so excited about the story I was telling. Um, but I got sidetracked. Anyone remember what I was talking about? I'm so excited. I I told someone recently, you bring up Etch a Sketch, I could talk about Etch a Sketch forever. I love I love what I'm learning about it. I love the technique and that. 
I've just learned that my mind can think of the line I'm going to draw and my hands will just do it. And I don't have to think about the left knob, the right knob, my hands just kind of move along. And with now on Instagram, I'm sharing it on Facebook too, um, these videos I'm doing daily, whenever I draw, I should say. Um, was I talking about Small World? Uh, um, yes, I'm talking about the different colors and the lighting, and, and so that's where I want to go in that direction, see if I can do a mixed medium of lighting and color. On my, it should still be on my gallery, on my, uh, on my website, but I did do a clay sculpture where there's a, a guy fishing and it's laying down, and there's some water in the pond, and I painted it with um, stained glass paint. And so, um, could, could you get the um, castle? Oh, I have no idea. I'm just having fun. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Could you get the castle? <laughs> um, so that's what I'm going to do with Small World. I'm going to have fun. So the beginning, I was, that's right. I was doing the drawings. I would take a picture. And back then, there were no digital cameras. So I would take film, develop it, say, okay, that's a good enough picture. Erase it and then do another drawing. And then one day I did this drawing. This is my original Etch-A-Sketch that I started to draw on. I did this, this is the Neuschwanstein Castle in Germany. Picked up a postcard at the airport. I'll, let me do a little, do a little uh -huh. and uh, uh huh. Picked up a postcard at the airport in Germany and um, drew this picture in three hours. On a flight to from Germany to, to Amsterdam, and I said, "Okay, I'm going to save this one." So that's when I started the idea of saving them and drawing more. And now the whole wall, I posted a picture. Hi, honey. Posted a picture of uh, of my pic of my drawings. That's my origin story. Oh, so what I was going to share. This is where I was. <coughs> oh, <coughs> oh, you okay, honey? How are you feeling? Good. Okay, the cough. She had a bit of an ear infection this weekend. Sad. Um, this week. So. We need to open this. This is the 58th year. We need to open this. You want me to open this one? I'll open it a little later, okay? Okay, I'm going to tell them one more thing and then we'll, we'll wrap up the video. I'm so glad uh, so many have joined. Uh, what I'm going to do. Oh, so this is the 58th year of Etch a Sketch. This is the twenty third. This is the twenty third year of my. Say babasro. Say babasro. No, babasro. Bye bye show. Bubble show. Bubble show. This has now become the adorable three year old show. Um, I, I don't mind being interrupted by cuteness. Oh, but let me finish this thought. I've been drawing for 23 years, and this is the 58th year of the Etch-A-Sketch, which means two years for Etch-A-Sketch will be the 60th anniversary. Two years for me will be my 25th anniversary of drawing. Uh, no, it's not sugar. Well, there's some sugar content in Tang, I'm sure. Um, but no, it's a powder to make an orange drink. See, you blend it up and make an orange drink. Does that look yummy? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that sometime. Yeah, I think we'll do that sometime. That's a good idea. I'm going to do that. I mean, juice. Yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, so, Johnny, are you watching a both? Or you just switched from, from Instagram okay. to... Yeah, I turned it on. It's not quite warmed up yet, though. It's not going. Um, okay, so, when Etch-A-Sketch celebrates their... 60th, no, yes, 60th, when they celebrate their six, <coughs> when they celebrate their 60th anniversary, I'll be celebrating my 25th anniversary, this is the year 2020, um, I'm going to uh, take this drawing and of the castle and, and do it again, like a then and now type of style where I will go into epic mode and do all the details of the shading and the tree based on the exact same postcard. I still have that postcard from that drawing. And so based on that same postcard, I'm going to redraw. Oh, honey, let's not dig for gold now. 
Yeah. So, let's, I'm going to... Yeah, there's a book around my nose. Oh, then we ask for a tissue, right? No. No? What do we do? No, no. No, we don't pick <laughs> our nose. We don't pick our nose. Yes. Oh, um, look. Magically, a, t a tissue has arrived. I'll let, I'll let you do it. You do it. Later. Um, so, <laughs> thank you. Little PRL. Little mm -hmm. PRL, honey. Hands. <laughs> I know you didn't touch the toilet, but your finger was up your nose. <laughs> so, here's what we're going to do. What? She? He, she just threw it down. We didn't use it. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> So what we're going to do, wait, hold on, this sounds like a great, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, all oh, girls are adorable. Um, aww. <laughs> the two videos. There are two videos. Do you want to sing your mermaid song? You could see yourself. <coughs> it sounds like, <coughs> Are those the words? Now, what are the words to the mermaid song? No, I want you to sing it. You want me to sing it? Big, big old black girl got the mermaids. Mermaid girl got the mermaids. And how's it go like that? Well, how's it go? Okay. I love the mother got mermaids. Mermaids got a lot of good mermaids. Yeah? No. No? How's it go? Oh, me love Zakapa. No? Adi Wadi. Okay? Okay, Adi Wadi. Wadi Washi. You like Paw Patrol? We were talking about Paw Patrol toys earlier. Oh, for everyone who missed it out, I got this care package. Oh, sorry, honey. <laughs> we started the video opening this box, the care package. I'm going to do opening this. I know. Okay, we'll do that in a little bit, okay? I uh, got a care package from Etch a Sketch, uh, now being uh, Etch a Sketch. Uh, <coughs> if you want to follow them, they're actually at its Etch a Sketch as opposed to at Etch a Sketch. Purell. Purell. All right. At uh, its Etch a Sketch or uh, at Spin Master. Now, Spin Master, that's what I was saying, is currently the producer of the Etch a Sketch. And here is our Spin Master. Um, Spin Master Etch a Sketch that I have labeled because I signed them all on the back. Um, they also do Paw Patrol. You've seen their logo at the end of Paw Patrol show, Spin Master. They do all the Paw Patrol toys, Kinetic Sand, um, Hatchimals, and such. Bye. Um, and I, really, I think that's about it. I guess I could ask are, are there any questions? Do you have any questions out there? Um, I really like that uh, new feature on Instagram where there's like, do you have any questions? And it leaves it open-ended. Maybe I'll do something like that too. I know another Etch-a-Sketch artist, Jane, um, known as Princess Etch-a-Sketch. I can give some shout-outs to some other Etch-a-Sketch artists because there are some really uh, talented people. Bearded Border, what is your um, Etch-a-Sketch? And we have, um, that's true, i got to see who else here. Oh, he's not here. He was here earlier. You saw the Bearded Birder. The Ed Nerds uh, was also here on Instagram. Hold on. I'm going to find. Look up look up the Bearded Border. Peppa Pig? No, they don't do pe pe Peppa Pig. Or are you suggesting I draw Peppa Pig? Jane Mabot! Princess Etch a Sketch. Um, as, as a give, about to give a shout out to her, Princess Etch a Sketch. Uh, saw her, you did the question thing too. I hope that went well. 
Um, I hope you're getting a good response. I think that's a great idea, this new question thing. I agree. I saw your, your video post earlier uh, on Instagram saying, um, and then, okay, here we go. Edner's underscore art, E-D-N-E-R-Z underscore art, A-R-T, uh, that's um, on Instagram, um, at Princess. Honestly, if you go to my Instagram uh, account, and you can go to all of my social media through my website, I have the links all on pretty much every page, uh, etchartist.com is my website. Yeah, good. Um, etchartist.com is my website. Everything Etch Artist. I gotta tell you something. Uh, a little history of that. I made that up as an AOL email address some time ago. Etchartist at AOL and used it for my, for something I came up with as an email address. And at the time I was doing um, stand-up comedy. So at the time, I was doing stand-up comedy and hitting the comedy clubs, and I said, oh, we're almost at an hour. Um, my brother says to me, oh, okay, you want to, if you really want to be known, how many people are trying to do stand-up and how many people do this Etch-A-Sketch thing? I'll help you get going with this. Uh, I'll help you get a domain for etchartist.com. And uh, I kind of branched off from there. I do... Um, Etch art is pretty much as my ID almost everywhere. So that way it uh, also promotes me, it promotes my work at the same time. Um, but I was gonna say on Instagram, um, I, I do some of that, I'll do the questions, I like the questions on Instagram. And there's something about, oh, if you go to my bio on, see who I'm following, you're gonna find a lot of pictures uh, of etch sketches of people that I'm following, so definitely, if you want to see what other people are doing, go to my Instagram account, go to edgeartist.com, click on my Instagram account if you're not already following. If you're not already following me, Facebook people, why aren't you? I am looking for etch, etch artist, my at etch artist Instagram followers. Um, my nephew has been really helpful in getting me some new followers. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, there's some great uh, etch a sketch artists out there. Uh, it's a wonderful world. And what's really nice to see is, I was mentioning earlier, it's a great community. It's more of um, a community, a family community, where it's not competition because, for one thing, regionally, we're so far apart from each other that we're really not local competition because we're so far apart from each other. But we also have different styles. Everybody has a different style to their drawings, much like any artist. It's another medium. You have artists have a, a, a canvas and paint, but not every artist is going to be the same. And it's the same with that to sketch. And you know what? I'm almost at an hour on this video. And so, in fact, how long? Part my finger, people. Yeah, almost exactly an hour. So with that, um, I really appreciate everybody who's dropped by. Um, I could put some links in, in the comments, maybe, stuff we've talked about. But uh, really, you can find everything. Uh, via my website but thank you very much for your time very excited thank you etch a sketch for the gift uh package happy etch a sketch day everybody um really appreciate it i'm going to uh start with finishing facebook bye facebook thank you if you're not following me on instagram at etch artist thank you mm.